फ्रेंड्स नाउ विल टॉक अबाउट द नेमिंग कन्वेंशन ऑफ लाइन कार्स इन सिस्को नेक्सस डिवाइसेस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो आई हैव वन नेम हियर विल ट्राई टू ड्राइव एज मच एज इंफॉर्मेशन एज पॉसिबल फ्रॉम दिस ओके सो दिस इज द नेम एन सेवन के एफ टू फोर एट एक्स टी टू फाइव ई ओके बाय लुकिंग एट द नेम इट लुक्स वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स ओके बट एट द आफ्टर द एंड ऑफ दिस लेक्चर यू वुड हैव लॉट ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग वट इज दिस सो एन सेवन के मीन्स दिस मॉड्यूल इज स्पेसिफिकली डिजाइन फॉर सेवन थाउजेंड सीरीज मॉड्यूलर चेसिस फॉर नेक्सिस ओके बिकॉज इफ इट वॉज एन नाइन के दैन दैन दैट वुड मीन इट विल स्पोर्ट नाइन थाउजेंड सीरीज devices modular devices okay um, one thing i want to uh, i want to tell you here that if it is mentioned as n7k that doesn't mean that uh, it will work on all of the chassis of 7k okay so you need to check data sheet because there are many line cars which uh, have been uh, uh, marked as end of life by cisco they don't sell it don't support okay so you need to check that so at this uh, by looking at this name it means it will work in 7k and design for 7k only so f what does the second f means f means f series input output module okay if it was m then it would have been m series modules initially when these modules were introduced uh like f or f and m f f had only one functionality layer 2 and m had layer 2 plus layer 3 but nowadays we have f3 which is capable of uh, routing as well okay 2 means it's a second generation card so if it was m3 that would have been uh m series third generation if it if it was f3 or f1 means accordingly first generation or third generation all right very simple to understand here at this point so now let's talk about 48 what does this 48 means it means it will have total number of 48 ports total ports will be 48 what is this x so x means 10 ge if it was f 40 ge C means hundred and G means one GE. Point to note is that one one line card can have both kind of ports like ten G and forty G or forty G or forty G and hundred G in the same line card. All right. So the largest one will be considered. So in that case, in case of forty slash hundred, in case of forty slash hundred. there would have been c okay so but right now in this naming convention x means 10 gigabit ethernet okay very simple to understand uh what does this t means this is basically port type t means rj45 and if it was s that would mean sfp sfp plus uh, will be denoted with p q means q sfp plus k means cisco c pack a uh, cisco c pack can provide 100 gbps of uh, wire transfer means this port okay so sfp sfp plus these are uh, these are all trans receivers transceivers okay i i request you to just uh, search in google and search what is this uh, sfp q sfp plus what are the differences okay and uh, now i'll talk about the this this word 2 what is this 2 means the version of fabric module being used it will be either 1 or 2 so right now till date we have two versions of uh, fabric modules one is word 1 and second is 2 so what is this fabric module it is basically interconnect for the line cards so once you uh, insert the line cards into chassis then you also need to have a separate module fabric module uh and 
you need to have that module which can provide enough bandwidth for the line card so let me give you one example if your line card supports let's say 110 gbps then you need to have either three fabric module of one one series that is first version version one or you can have uh, one one fabric module of version two all right because fab 2 will provide you 110 gbps okay so one fabric module provides bandwidth for each line card so let's say if i am using one fab one module that is that provides 46 gbps and you have and we have chassis of uh, let's say uh, 7018 that would mean there would be 16 modules right so it will provide 46 gbps to each module understand this so one fab one will provide 46 gbps to each line card so if your line card uh, is capable of providing 550 gbps then you need to use five five fabric modules of version 2 because that would mean 110 multiplied by 5 equal to 550 this you need to understand all right so you also need to check uh, how many fab fabric modules can be connected in one chassis because these nexus are very much hardware specific you need to check data sheets each chassis has uh, its own limitations restrictions okay now what is this five five means this is the number of fabric modules required for the card to operate at the maximum capacity okay uh, it says that if you want this line card to achieve its maximum capacity okay or full potential then you need to have five fabric modules okay of version 2 because just we've uh, just here this was fab 2 right it says we should have five fab 2 modules to achieve full potential you can choose to have only three it is up to you okay now we'll talk about the last digit which is e here so generally it is e or there is nothing or there is l okay e means it's a f2e this is the also the uh, generation like second generation e module it is only used in f series only so it is not used in m series okay so if it is l it means that it has additional uh, it has capacity to handle additional resources additional okay like more number of ipv4 routes more entries of ipv6 more acls access list more more mac address entries it can handle so l is basically used with m series generally there is nothing okay so i have i have uh, explained you n7k means 7000 series f means f series 2 means uh, uh, generation okay second generation 48 means total number of ports x means uh, what is the capacity of the largest port in the module it is 10 ge here t means the port type in this case T means RJ45 the normal LAN connector okay which can uh, means you can connect your CAT 6 6 E cable 2 means the version of fabric module fabric module is basically interconnect for line cards okay so if uh, there is one workstation connected on one line card and it wants to send one data file to second workstation which is on second line card then it will pass through fabric module okay so fabric module sits in between line cards 
I'll show you how to check these fabric modules once I log in into uh, my 7K devices. Okay. And 5 means uh, to be able to attain the full potential of this uh, line card in terms of bandwidth or throughput, then you need to have these many fabric modules. Okay. I'll take you to Cisco website. You remember Cisco site? Cisco.com slash go slash nexus check every thing okay so this line card may not be supporting all of the chassis of 7k you need to remember it i know it is supporting right now but there are many modules which are end of life so your first generation module may not be working in uh seven seven thousand eighteen just to verify using data sheet so e means f to e l means uh extra large it can uh, it can handle more v4 v6 routes more number of mac address table entries access list etc so friends thank you so much for watching do give me appropriate rating and feedback thank you so much